Hey guys, Kobani here with another video in a very long time and uh, today is going to be hopefully a short video and it's basically me cleaning up an old asset I created in um, 2018 but I've been getting a couple of requests online um, on, um, on my sketch file requesting a printable 3D version of this and I didn't create this to be a 3D to be 3D printed so I I got a final like somebody actually emailed me directly requesting the file and I was like okay I'll, I might as well see if I can clean it up and make it available to people so I went back and found the high res luckily I saved it on a drive so I managed to find it and uh, I decided to clean it up at first the high res wasn't prepared for 3d printing because I there were like holes in it as in uh, there was a gap between the this teeth and this part over here I kind of began cleaning up a bit just to save some time for the video but I also cleaned up this part here because the mesh here was very thin which meant every time you dy I dynamic there were holes in it and that's how I used to know that it was too thin so oh yeah and I also there's a gap I was talking about here so I basically used a standard brush and brought it up and then I'm, I'm going to dynamic it to combine it because uh, in 3D printing, you, your mesh has to be airtight, so I'm ju I just tried to close this gap here, and I'm, I tried to keep the sharp edge I have over here. That's why I'm, I didn't edit this actual mesh. And basically, I think I'm putting it back to where it's good enough. I usually I could I could go into details and try and add more details to these to this mesh, but people people seem to be fine with the final result from the original so I'm just gonna keep it like that and I put this hole in here in the original just to give the impression of a breathing space and since this hole was so thin I used the foam soft brush with back facing turned on I mean back face back face masking turned on which will be down here and so by doing that I, I managed to keep the mesh basically give some thickness to this thin spot over here and to get a hole here I can just mirror and, um, mirror and weld up here, which is found in the, geomet the geometry tab. It should be under uh, modify topology here. And there should be mirror and weld over here. So, going back to Dynamesh, if I have to Dynamesh right now, I'm, I'm using a resolution of 992. And basically, I did that just to keep similar poly count to the original because the original was 2.5 million and uh, I put a high dynamic count just to get the poly count that is similar that way I don't lose too much detail and I just get to close holes because the whole point of the dynamic was to close gaps with just like that and uh, also I, I cleaned up a bit so to go back to the original sub tools if I turn on everything here these things will easily dynamic back because they're already inserted so The only things I want to keep are the straps because in the original one I was creating them in for uh, my class because this was actually a school project, it was close to one of my final projects I did for school. Uh, I created the straps too, and these are basically the straps. But I don't think this these straps will be will print properly. If you think I should leave the straps in for printing, let me know because. The reason I'm doing this video is also to give like a point for people to easily leave me feedback and be like, oh, I printed it and this was a problem. I printed it and this was a problem. I could easily edit it and upload the file again for anybody. And uh, I'm not used to sharing files for 3D printing. I actually plan on investing in my own 3D printer in the future, but um, this is going to be like a first the test and I'll edit it if anybody needs me to edit it. Well, granted, if I have time because I have some other stuff to work on too. So I'm going to push this up just so it's easier to merge my files back together or the pieces back together and let me push this down because this piece is part of the straps um, so for the straps it was just modeled to look like this and I, I didn't put too much detail into it because this was originally meant to be a game asset so this was the high poly version of the game asset and then the low poly was created was created uh, in 3d codes with the uh, real topology but uh, I'm going to hide the uh, straps and make sure I have everything I need. Then 
I'm going to just lure and weld this one just to get the ball on the opposite side. I mirror and weld what's from left to right. Facing your left to right, so that's why I have it up here so it's easier to. And I think for this hole, I probably used Light Boolean, but it's been a while. This was made in 2018, but I assume I used Light Boolean. And so, one reason I'm Dynamo Machine is also to match everything with my camera because um, 3D printing doesn't like protein meshes, so it's good to basically. Have everything as one mesh and the one way to get everything as one mesh is with dynamesh in 3d i mean in zbrush so I'm, good, I'm just going to merge everything down let's just merge down or we skip and then we just merge down watch what hmm. it's too late now but i was thinking about merging down ones before doing the rest but i think i'll just go ahead and finish it down so now that we have everything merged down, this is the final that I'm going to be sending. And I'm not sure if these things will 3D print properly, like with this space over here. Uh, as I said, this wasn't created with 3D printer in mind initially, so I'm not sure whether to keep these separate and the 3D printer will cut it, but I, I'm keeping the original meshes, so it's easier to edit. And actually, I should have, I should have probably exported it while they were separate and then have a version of them being separate. And, them being combined but I, I i don't mind going back and re-cleaning up again because i remember what i did so um, i always skip actually and uh let's delete these sub tools down here just to give my file less memory to work with okay so we are back we are 2.7 million with everything merged and let's go back to geometry then i mesh 10 of blood 992 it works in um there's a multiplication going on here, so it's not going to be 992 polygons. It's going to be roughly 2 million. Yeah, 2.5 million. And I think that's good enough, actually. Looking at, looking through, I don't see any issues here. Usually, damage causes um, weird holes in thin areas. So that's why I went ahead and cleaned up this part here. If you do it like a test 3D printer and you see an issue, let me know. I can't do a test 3D print because I don't have a 3D printer right um, on me. I'm planning on investing in one. So basically I just want to create this video as like a link. And if anybody has any suggestions, I, I can easily come back and basically do a, an update um, the, the file. So if you want to try your hands at this model and to 3D print it, just let me know. And also the backside, as you can see, was also not created with uh, anything in mind. So it still has like little bumps here and there. But I know in the low poly, I kind of made it almost smooth and had the texture different. But this is just me testing it out. And so I'll give you, um, I, I, actually, yeah, just give me any feedback you have. And I'll look into maybe in the future creating my models with more, with 3D printing in mind if people are interested in that. Because I don't mind sharing files. Well, as far as they are not, um, I know. Yeah, not any like restrictions but uh thank you and uh see you later